Welcome back to our Christmas content advent calendar where each and every day through to the 24th of December we're bringing you a brand new video. Now in today's video we're going to dive into Photoshop and we'll show you how you can change the colour of, of any colour in a photo. So for example let's just dive straight in. This photo here we've got these lovely red leaves in the background. We're going to change that to, uh, to like a yellow, like a yellowy orange. You know a very autumnal kind of scene. Now I actually really like the photo as it is but for the, the purposes of this tutorial I think it works really well. I would deliberately chose this photo because it's quite a difficult one to work with purely based on the fact that we've got a lot of a lot of red through the pictures. We've got the red leaves with the red in her jumper. It's probably going to affect the skin tones as well. Uh, so I want to show you the, some of the challenges that you might come up against. So let's just dive straight in. So the first thing we're going to want to do in this photo, we've got it in Photoshop already. We're going to come down here to the layer panels and we're going to click here to add a new adjustment layer. We're going to add the hue slash saturation layer. Now this is this is quite a good uh, a good place to start. This is going to allow us to change colors. If I if I come up here to the properties and start adjusting this hue slider, you can see it's uh, it's messing up the picture pretty pretty aggressively. But it is changing the colors. So it's kind of what we want to be doing. But what we need to do is mask out our subject so that she's not being affected. Because as you can see, if I try to make this like a like a nice sort of yellowy orange, she's completely uh, just ruined. Just ruined. The whole photo is ruined. So let's pop that back to zero. And let's come over here to the layer mask. Now, let's actually for this situation let's right click on this layer mask thumbnail which is in this uh, in the hue saturation layer now if you, if you want a full tutorial on layer mask we have got a full video a full tutorial tuesday all about how layer masks work but for the purposes of this let's go in let's right click that layer mask and let's click delete layer mask because we're going to create a new one uh, which i think is just always an easier place to start so with the hue saturation layer selected uh, let's go ahead and select the quick selection tool. Now this allows us to uh, to left click, you can press alt and right click and then drag to actually uh, increase or decrease the size of your, of your cursor there. This allows us to quite quickly just left click and drag across our subject to actually select her. Uh, or in this situation, so press control D to deselect, let's just click select subject up at the top. And Photoshop's gonna make a pretty good guess as to what we wanna do. And there we go, pretty much perfect. It selects our subject there. We can go ahead and make uh, make some slight adjustments. So for example, right down here, we might wanna go in and just, uh, just remove this bit. So you can press alt to actually make it, uh, so that as you click, you are removing from the selection. So let's go ahead and just, just do that quickly. And there we go, we've got a really good selection of our subject. Now we can go back in with the selection down here. So with the hue saturation layer selected, let's click add new layer mask. And that is going to actually create a mask of just our subject. Now, when you look at the layer mask thumbnail down here, everything in white is going to be showing on this layer. So in this situation, it's gonna be affected by the hue saturation layer and everything in black is not going to be affected. So if I now click back onto the actual hue saturation layer itself and affect the hue, you can see that only our subject is being affected right now, which is the opposite of what we want. So that's no problem. Let's pop that back to, uh, to zero. We just need to click on the layer mask and press control I to invert it. Because now, as you can see, our, our subject is masked out in black and everything else is in white, which means that it will be affected by this layer. Now, when we go up to the hue saturation uh, kind of controls here, you can see that as I as I adjust it, it is now only affecting everything else, but not our subject. Now, something else that you can do, which we probably don't actually need to do in this photo, but something that is generally very helpful, is here in the hue saturation controls, you can come up to this hand icon just here. Now, this is gonna allow you to come over to the photo with an eyedropper tool and select a color that you actually want to be affecting. So in this case, let's select the reds of the leaves. And that, as you can see, brings up this little range down here where we've got the reds really selected there. Now, as you then adjust things, you can go back in and uh, and change this. You can you can increase the range a little bit to uh, to get more of the colors in there. You can move the range around. So for example, if I move it all the way over there, you can see it's now not affecting the reds. It would only really be affecting the blues. But for the purposes of this, let's bring it back over to the reds. And we want to be creating more of a yellow orange look to these leaves in this situation. So we can come up here to the hue slider and slide it over to the right. And you can see the leaves starting to turn sort of orange 
a little bit yellow. Let's go for something. Let's go for something like that. I think that looks that looks quite cool. Uh, and let's actually bring the saturation down a little bit so they're not quite so uh, kind of aggressive neony yellow. Now this photo doesn't work perfectly because I've actually already edited it and I already bumped the saturation of the reds up. So you can see we're starting to lose a little bit of detail. But if you were using this on a photo that you've actually edited uh, from RAW or even starting with a RAW photo or something like that, you're gonna have a much, much better time with it. It's only that I happen to have already bumped the saturation of this photo up quite a bit. So I think that looks really quite cool and you can see how easy it is to just make that adjustment. If I just switch that on and off, you can see we've made a huge adjustment to the photo, but let's go into another photo. I'm gonna show you something really interesting, how we can use this technique to change the color of your subject's eyes, but very, very naturally. So here, we've got my subject here just sitting and we've got a really nice uh, kind of blurred out background. This was shot with the Sigma 35 millimeter F1.2. Let's just zoom in a little bit to her eyes. So I'm just holding Alt on the keyboard and using the scroll wheel to zoom in. Let's start in exactly the same way. So let's uh, create an adjustment layer, hue slash saturation. And yes, let's use that hand tool to come over here and pick a color in the eye. So in this situation, we're gonna be picking that kind of slightly blue color. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. And then let's adjust the hue. Now, as I adjust that, you can see the color of the eyes is changing. Let's pick, uh, let's pick like a, like a vibrant, kind of green. Uh, let's boost the saturation as well, so that we get a very, you know, colorful eye. We really want to make this uh, unnaturally pop. And let's bring the lightness up a little bit as well, so we can so we can see it a little bit easier. Now when we zoom out, you can see that's really made a massive difference to our eyes, but of course the hoodie is now green as well, which is not what we wanted. We wanted to leave the hoodie and everything else as it was and just change the color of the eyes. Of course, this is also a great way to change uh, the hoodie color. You know, exactly the same exactly the same way of doing that as we're doing with the eyes. But in this situation, we just want it to be the eyes. Again, super easy. We're gonna use a layer mask. Now we've already got a layer mask on the hue saturation layer. It's all white, which means the whole photo is being affected by this layer. So let's press Control I to turn the whole layer mask black, which means nothing is being affected. This way, we can come over to our brush tool and make sure you've got white selected. You can press X to toggle between the foreground and background color. And uh, let's just bring down our brush size a little bit here. Flow I've got to 100%, which is absolutely fine for what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm just gonna paint over the eyes. Now, what this is doing is painting white on the layer mask over the eyes. And it allows those just those parts to be visible on this layer. So anything in white is visible, anything in black is, is not. So we've just painted over the eyes, which means that only the eyes are gonna be affected by this layer. So if I now turn this layer on and off, that's off and that's on. You can see we've changed the eyes to green and they are really quite a, a vivid green, you know, a little bit unnatural, but it's a great way of affecting eye color in a very natural kind of way. Now, I hope you found that all helpful. This can be very, very useful, especially in a slightly more subtle way. Uh, the leaves on the trees, that's a bit aggressive. The eye color stuff, that can be really, really interesting. And there's loads of different creative ways that you can kind of apply this and create some really cool looking things. If you do have any questions about anything you've seen in the video, pop it down in the comments below. Any uh, any comments or, or tips or anything like that, pop it down there as well. My general tip, as with pretty much everything we ever talk about, is to generally try and keep it a little bit subtle. I think subtlety is key when editing, uh, you know, especially when doing stuff like this, where you're really adjusting colors and stuff like that. It, uh, it can get a little bit out of hand if you're not too subtle about it. So I think it's important to be subtle. I'll pop a full list of all the kit that we use for these photos down in the description so you can check that out for yourself. I will see you tomorrow because there's new videos every single day. Oh, make sure to like and subscribe and all that cool stuff really helps us out, really helps us out. New content all the time, new tutorials literally all the time. It's crazy amount of tutorials. I will see you tomorrow and as always, thanks for watching.